Hello, my name is Sean, and welcome to another BEA video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the infrared curtains on an Ultima. With the Ultima, we have the benefit of two different types of detection, threshold detection and non-threshold detection. Threshold detection, like it says, goes through the threshold of the door for an added benefit of security, and non-threshold detection is similar to that of the Ixio where it goes in the front of the door. Today I will be showing you the difference between both and how to set both up. So the first thing you would want to do beforehand is you want to make sure which one you would want to use, which will be determined by the application and the facility manager slash owner. Right now I'm going to show you how to determine which one yours is currently set to, depending on if you're coming into an existing application to troubleshoot or you're doing a first time setup. This will vary depending on what you're here for. First things first, turn on your red spots by double clicking on the gray knob. As you can see, what we're seeing here is threshold detection being turned on. We can tell it's threshold detection by the second curtain being within three inches of the face of the door, the width of the door opening. And curtain one is shown being through the threshold of the door. Now that we know where curtain two is, curtain one should be positioned within the sliding panel of the door or across the threshold of the door, which is what we prefer. Now positioning the IR curtains is not enough. Now we need to go into the sensor itself and program the curtains for the pattern we set them for. For this application that we've demonstrated here, the pattern we will want to set it for is one. To access the menus, click it on the gray knob once, and then turn the gray knob to scroll through until you see IR curtains. IR curtains by default is set to three. For this application, like I said, we want it set to one. So turn the gray knob back until you see one, click in on the gray knob to confirm it, and then scroll till you see back, click in, and then it's gonna go through a setup. What one states is that at full open, the first curtain is fully active. Then as the door is closing, the first curtain is partially active, meaning as the door comes closed, the spots slowly deactivate until it comes to a full close where curtain one will be fully deactivated. Now that the Ultima has completed its setup, it has been set for threshold detection. As you can see, I'm standing on the other side of the door, the sensor is still showing red and the door is holding open. Now, if you don't need threshold detection, how would you set that up? I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First step, like before, take your gray knob, click in on it twice to turn on your spots. Now that we have our spots on, we need to adjust the angle of our curtains to match for non-threshold detection. To adjust the angle of our curtains, we need to turn our knob here. Our red knob, when you turn it to the left, it brings the curtains further out away from the door. When we turn it to the right, it brings them closer into the door. For this instance, we need to turn it to the left so that the curtains are further out away from the door. When adjusting our curtains for non-threshold detection, we want to make sure that our first curtain now is within three inches of the face of the door, the width of the door opening, much like the second curtain for threshold detection. Now that we have our curtains aligned, we're going to click in on the gray knob twice to turn our spots off. Click in on the gray knob one more time. And we'll scroll down to IR curtains, click in, and this time set the curtains value to three. Click in to confirm, turn the knob to scroll up the back. It'll go through a setup. So now, unlike threshold detection, the sensor is going to pick me up when I'm only on in front of the door underneath the sensor because I have all three curtains active in front of the door. When I step away, the sensor will drop detection and the door will begin to come closed. Once your infrared curtains have been set up, be sure to program any additional settings throughout the sensor and on the radar head. Once that's completed, make sure to also walk test it to make sure it meets anti-compliance. If you have an Ultima position on the other side of the door as well, be sure to do the same process we did here on that side to complete your setup. Thank you for watching my video on setting up the infrared curtains for threshold detection and non-threshold detection on the Ultima, and I'll be sure to see you next time. 